in this moment there's this sense of after the storm calm that is coming in after the storm and this yuki ona quietude this blue energy feeling coolness like we gathered of forces there's been a balancing inside ourselves it feels that the last full moon that we had in Aquarius that brought a lot of emotions, feelings, extremes. We are now in this balanced force mode. And it feels like also as we have balanced our inner selves, maybe perhaps with our external circumstances, there's a definite feeling of now coming back to our body, coming back to feeling ourselves, our energetic field, but also integrating. There's an integration that is taking place today. Follow your own rhythm, sexuality, Freya. Those two women here, to me, represent feeling good, feeling at home within yourself. You had the fourth house, your home and the roots of your being, cancer energy, which is how do we feel safe? How do we feel um, psychologically rooted? And a lot of you also, there's this uh, sense of illumination or seeing things clear and clear at this time with the pineal perspective, third eye, and bringing freedom. I really feel that after the roller coaster that we've been through this summer, this month of August, at this time, as we are in this Virgo season right now, there's this sense of really coming back to our well-being, our healing, our who we are actually, and having found out more of our truth, our inner truth, a deeper sense of what is it that I am and what is it that makes me feel free and what is it that I can do and contribute to this life that is unique to me. It's like we have gathered the forces of Aquarius's freedom um, seeking, the rebellion, that whatever is going on in the world right now, whatever restrictions are going on, understanding that actually inside ourselves, our soul or spirit is free and that we can manifest truly our uniqueness you have against the grain here and the word wants to be written so a lot of you at this time are taking charge of your life are pointing this arrow of sagittarius good luck good fortune some of you are deciding to just go on your path maybe moving traveling but also higher learning. We have this Pisces energy, contemplation, um, really getting to new heights when it comes to your own spirituality. spirituality. And also today we are in the Aries moon and Aries came up here. Aries is the initiator, it's the beginner, it's the go-getter. And because your energies are more integrated there's this endless opportunities arising here and real bridger where there is this balance between your material world and your spiritual world where perhaps you are understanding how it's all interconnected and how once you completely 
are immersed in your spiritual energy. Your base, your soul, your you, deep inside, that things effortlessly, effortlessly open up. Radiant illumination, the sun. This is beautiful. This is all blessings coming, coming to you. It's you allowing that in your life. And what I saw also with balanced forces and justice here is that maybe some of you are going through legal things, legal situations, but to me, it is really this balance within you and within your life. Maybe having cut off a few things, a few people, and now getting into this sense of you, your beauty, coming with compassion. There's also a feeling of balancing your body and your soul. You know, the sexuality, the, the material manifestation of you, of your relationships, of other people, and then deeper than that, your connection with the universe, with the cosmos, with the infinite possibilities that can be open to you. No limitations. You're a celestial being with unlimited potential. There's much for you to share. You are a special person. You do make a difference. So I'm really loving this energy here, guys. It's really the calm after the storm. Let's see a little bit of Tara here that wants to come through. You're not caring anymore about what people would think. You're not judging yourself so much. You're just allowing. Yeah. Knight of Cups here. Knight of Emotions. This white horse is free. This is a message of love. It's allowing love in your life. This could be a romantic gesture. And here we have the king. The Muse of Emotions, which is the king of cups. Balance emotion. All of the turmoil, the waves have come down. Nine of emotions, nine of cups. Complete emotional fulfillment, guys. This is what we're going towards, and we're manifesting that. There has been a breakthrough. This sword of Aries, this arrow of Sagittarius have manifested this there's a cutting there's a focus internally that is bringing your dream life here let's see a little bit more as you follow your own rhythm and you get into your groundedness of you feeling literally your body feeling literally your own energy this is manifesting all those butterflies, transformation. Nothing less than the queen of emotion. So the yin and the yang, we had here the king, yeah? And now we have the queen. This is also divine counterparts, soulmate energy, a lot of love. But the queen of emotion, the queen of cups has to do with compassion. Kuan Yin, Psychic Illumination, Connection, Realm Bridger. By the way, four and five are important numbers today. Four being the foundations um, of your life. Five, change. I love to see that we have the masculine and the, mas and the feminine here. It's having achieved a certain sense of being able to receive, create, surrender to the universe and the timing, divine timing, and as well, 
manifesting from the heart. Taking action, always from the heart, no longer from the mind. Which is going to bring us this Nine of Cups, complete emotional fulfillment. And this is, Nine of Cups is really you with yourself. So we see that as we focus on, on, on our own emotional fulfillment for ourselves with not, nobody else around, this brings other people to us the right people, the right person, the right circumstance. Yeah, six of wands underneath the deck, six of inspiration. This is victory, success. After the war, after the storm, finally, victory. Yeah, the wheel underneath number 10. Divine timing is at play here. And we are following it. We are letting it, we have let it transform. We are not afraid of the transformation of the new us that is taking place here. King of Wands, entrepreneur, passionate, magnetic person, masculine energy, fire, fire sign. Creativity. And again, here we have two, this balance, you know, we have this um, theme of two here, news of emotion. You have the fire, which is action moving forward from the heart, from the emotion, from the feeling. And that calls us back to the fourth house, which is cancer, which is very emotional, very rooted and in touch with its feelings and its sense of safety. We are finding safety within ourselves and we're manifesting this outwardly. It's most beautiful, guys. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. We have this mothering energy that could be um, children involved. There's a lot of fertility happening here. We have abundance, Lakshmi. This is all obstacles being removed. And we're all doing this because we have transformed death. Complete transformation, guys. Getting out of the hermit mode. We were in the hermit mode. We've needed to come back inside. And now we can get out and shine with the sun here. Solar plexus, radiant illumination. So guys, this is what I have for you today. I hope this was helpful. Please do take care and I will see you tomorrow.